banjos that I've been making uh, are nylon strung and short scale and fretless. Uh, they're about 22 and a half inches in the scale length and that makes them a little bit more comfortable to play. You don't have to poke your arm out so far to play them and that's really nice. Uh, they have a big scoop. You got that great big scoop. Uh, that's a fun design detail that I've implemented over the past several years. When I started building banjos I was I learned I was apprenticed uh, building banjos in the Vega style, which is like a steel strung fretted banjo. And uh, after I did that for a while, I explored gourd banjo making for a while. And, and after I did that for a while, I was kind of like, oh, wouldn't it be cool if you could blend some of the elements of gourd banjos with some of the elements of uh, steel strung modern banjos? So the product of that experimentation is the thumpy banjo. So this one is about 22 and a half inches in scale length from nut to bridge. Makes it comfortable. Uh, this neck is non-adjustable carbon fiber reinforced. So it's made from flame maple. Whoops. Made from flame maple. Maybe you can see it there. As I turn it in the light here some. So it's made from flame maple, but it's reinforced with carbon fiber. And it keeps it pretty nice and light. These are modern style Goto tuning machines. Uh, the fifth peg on a lot of these thumpy banjos is offset a little bit. It's like a little bit further away from the fourth string than normally found. Uh, this rim is doesn't have a rim cap. It's just painted, just painted red. Uh, so these are fun. These are fun banjos. And this is I put I put uh hard tension nylon guitar strings on these. Uh, so they're not quite like the nylon gut uh, nylon strings that you often find on nylon strung banjos. These are have a little bit more, they push back on you a little bit more and I feel like they might be a little bit more stable than the nylon gut. Although nylon strings in general stretch a lot more than a steel string. So this is a, just one example of a thumpy banjo and I'll show you another one here that has a little bit different details. So this one features an 11 inch rim. It has a nice rim cap. It also has the Renaissance head which I like pretty well for nylon strung banjos as far as the synthetic head goes. Uh, this one is walnut and has a Bacote fingerboard. Uh, the tuning pegs on this one are different than the other one. These are the peg heads, geared tuning pegs. So they look a lot like friction pegs. They feel a lot like friction pegs, but they've actually got gears in there. So that helps with tuning stability and ease of tuning. Uh, so that's pretty neat. 
this banjo does have a tone ring in it. It's just a little rolled brass tone ring in there. It sits on top of the the rim. <laughs> This one features a tension hoop made by Zach Hoyt up there in New York. And uh, this bridge, what I've been calling the Bingless Bridge, it's kind of inspired by the bridges that you see on Buckeye banjos made by Greg Galbraith. Uh, but this one has a little notch cut out under the fifth string to keep it from being too bingy. Sometimes I feel like the fifth string gets too bingy to see it suit me. So I did that and I think it's pretty good. that I like but not everyone does uh, it's great for certain playing styles and, uh, yeah so it's just something you might take it or leave it depending on whether or not you like it uh, let's see what else could I tell you about these I just get a kick out of building them love to get them out of the house sometimes I put carvings on the back side of the neck you can see a little carving on this one it's kind of nice it's kind of pretty uh, tunings like a D, A, G, C, but you can also run them down into as far as like F. So uh, it's pretty versatile as far as the range of keys that you can get to with these. Tons of fun, tons of fun. So uh, that's just a little, little more about the thumpy banjos.